when it comes to premium engine oils most of us including me boil down our purchase to what the market pushes but in every category you will find some dark horses and today's lab test video is to find whether the petronas printa f900 fits that slot we essentially find petronas getting approvals right from mercedes to tata motors and recently with tvs motors if you follow this channel then you must have seen me using and experiencing this printa f900 10w40 multiple times in the past the lab test review of their synthium 3000 is already live on the channel so i was really excited to find out the lab test results for this printa f900 we will discuss the fresh oil analysis report in this video where we will begin with the kinematic viscosity Viscosity measures the fluid's resistance to flow where it is a critical physical parameter that decides on how the engine responds to the oil. For the fresh out of the box Petronas Printa F900 10W40, the kinematic viscosity at 40 degrees Celsius came out at 89.05 mm2 per second. While at 100 degrees Celsius, the kinematic viscosity stood at 14.55 mm2 per second. If we compare this to the competition from Motul Shell or Liquimoly then these are very balanced numbers not at all at the extreme ends but bringing out an impressive viscosity index of 171 The flash point came out at 232 degrees Celsius which is an indication of a good synthetic base oil blended with performance additives This is superior to what we got on the Power One Ultimate and similar to the Liquimoly Street Race that we had lab tested earlier On the other end the pore point for the F900 was reported at minus 33 degrees Celsius. Next we have TBN total base number represents the neutralizing reserve of an engine oil against the acidic environment inside the engine. In our case we got 6.5 which is okay and similar to what we got on the Power One Ultimate and lower than the Street Race. But in the past we have seen engine oils from Petronas like the Synthium 3000 sustain really well in the long run. Let me know if you want to see similar reports with the F900. Next we move towards the elemental analysis being a fresh engine oil we don't have much to discuss on the wear and tear part and coming to the contaminants we found negligible traces This brings us to the most interesting part of this video that is the additive elemental analysis we start this with detergents and dispersants that helps in keeping the engine clean and deposit free usually represented by calcium and magnesium with the F900 we found calcium at 1124 parts per million which is decent but Petronas has balanced this really well with magnesium at 454 parts per million we can see this mix with the added magnesium dose with most modern BSX compliant engine oils Next we move towards the anti wear and anti corrosion additives. Zinc usually dominates this space and with the F900 we got 896 parts per million of zinc which is impressive. But what makes this excellent is boron which came out at 183 parts per million. This is one of the highest presence of boron I have seen in a motorcycle engine oil. Automotive metallurgy and chemistry based researchers have shown multiple benefits of getting the boron right in your engine oil including performance emission and efficiency advantages Moving towards the extreme pressure additive elements that helps the oil in performing under heavy duty extreme situations Phosphorus usually takes the lead here where we got 777 parts per million of phosphorus in the F900 where Petronas decided to take this ahead with sulfur at 2270 parts per million which makes the overall additive package superior as sulfur based active and passive additives boost the overall performance of the lubricant we have seen the same with the petronas synthium 3000 lab test video we'll leave the link in the description finally we have molybdenum at 41 parts per million which is a friction modifier this is similar to what we found in the liquimoly street trace but better than what motul offers so in the verdict we can see petronas has given it all to the f900 and then some more to set that delta I will share about its performance and the complete experience in the 5000 km lab test video but now with its under 1000 rupees price tag it does fit that slot that we mentioned in the beginning of this video so that's it for this video and i hope you guys have liked it